Hey everybody, it's David here with Tax Growth Con, and I have one of our amazing guest speakers here with me, Mr. John Hewitt. And uh, John is going to be speaking to us and sharing his wealth of knowledge and wisdom, specifically in building million-dollar tax businesses. Actually, two half a billion-dollar businesses. I'll let him talk about that. But today, I want to share with you what he's going to be speaking about and how you can get engaged in joining us at Tax Growth Con. So, so John, how are you, man? I'm incredible. Incredible. You look incredible. John, where, where, where are you at right now? Share with us where are you at? Today I'm in Virginia Beach. Awesome. That's home base for you, right? It is. I've been here since 1982. 1982. You own the beach. That's what I heard down there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm a, a diamond in the rough in Virginia Beach. There you go. Well, so, so kind of, John, tell us about yourself. What, tell us a little bit about your history. Let the audience know what, what they can expect from you. Yeah, I can give you the quick, the, the quick synopsis of 53 years. I okay. started in our block. I was a uh, tax preparer when I was at the University of Buffalo. And uh, 12 years later, I was running 250 H&R block locations, youngest regional director in the country. And in 1981, my dad said, let's computerize taxes. He was a CFO of a public company. We both quit our jobs. And in 1981, we built the first tax software for an Apple computer. Wow. It, was, it was way ahead of its time. No one wanted it. Uh, Block said, people ask us why we don't computerize. We say, why should we? It doesn't save us any money. Our customers don't care. We're never going to computerize. So I got blessed and found a company here in Virginia Beach called Mel Jackson Tax Service. I was blessed in many ways, but one is the weather in Virginia Beach a lot better than Buffalo. And in <laughs> August of 82, we bought Mel Jackson Tax Service. Uh, 15 years later, we had changed the name to Jackson Hewitt. We went public and we sold it for $483 million. Oh, man. I had a three year non compete and from 97 to 2000. But having grown up in Buffalo, I knew the Canadian tax system and Jackson U wasn't in Canada. So my non compete didn't cover Canada. So we opened in Canada. And just like I had in the US, I, I found in one of the top, they became one of the top 100 largest retail chains. So now I've done it once in US, once in Canada. And in 2000, I came back to the United States. And now not only did I have to compete with H&R Block, the 900 pound gorilla, I had to compete with my own name, my own software, my own system. <laughs> and uh, yet over the next 12 years, we grew to 4,000 offices, top 10 fastest growing ever. Not only did we grow faster than Block or Jackson Hill, we grew faster than both of them together. And partly that's because of you, David. And uh, so my, again, public company, Again, worth $500 million, sold my stock three years later, and now I have uh, nine companies under um, my loyalty brand's umbrella. Wow. So you've, you've had an impressive career in business and specifically in the financial services industry. But today, man, I see you've got your hands in a lot of things, which is very impressive, which I actually think uh, if I had to talk to anybody and I said, there's somebody that knows about franchising more than anybody, I think it's, it's John Hewitt. Would you agree with that? Franchising? You know yeah, my partner, my uh, who's on the board of directors of of uh, loyalty, is Bob Gappa. and Bob Bob is uh, the number one consultant ever in franchise. And he's consulted with over sixteen hundred franchisors. And I love to tease him that Bob, you know you're the second most experienced person ever in franchise. <laughs> That's pretty funny. And I actually have met Bob Gappa. The guy is incredible. So man, you've got a great team over there at Loyalty. So, so what we'll be talking about. So my vision for our event is to share with the audience how you have helped so many people through, through the, the tax industry, through your franchise models, and through your coaching, tutelage, and, and, and sharing of all the things that you've created, how you've helped so many people. And actually, you shared with me before this, but how many millionaires would you guesstimate that you've helped to, to produce in the world today? Uh, over a thousand over a thousand and and i'm assuming tens of thousands of people have been touched by by the businesses that you've helped to create over these years would you say that too yeah i brought in five thousand franchisees and and they had combined over a hundred thousand employees so i've i have impacted tens of thousands of lives wow that is so impressive so at our event i'd love for you to share with the audience how you know you've not only how you've helped people basically what you did to help these people like, what did you, some of the things that are in the backstory, you know, because I think, I think the most successful people like yourself, I think they, they, they sometimes see things a little too easy. 
and they forget about all the little nuggets along the way. And I want to pull some of those out of you because I know you've got some really good gold for some of these guys. Cause I, our audience, some of them may have just got into the tax industry. Some of them may be EAs, some may be CPAs, some may be thinking big and some may think small. And I want to help to expose that. Do you want to give them some tips right now? Maybe things that you can help them think bigger. I'll give them one tip. They can uh, grab my audio book on, on Amazon called I Compete, Little I Compete. And uh, it, tells, it tells the journey of, of uh, my, my career up until about 10 years ago. And it talks about not only the um, people have, have thanked me because not only does it talk about victories, it talks about um, um, difficulties and failures. And so um, there, there is uh, no, God doesn't put anyone here to, to just skate. Everyone has their adversity and their, and their obstacles to overcome. So um, I will, my, my preference on what to talk to every audience is that uh, not to lecture, but to answer specific questions because that's changing people's life. Just giving a generic speech and saying, do this and do that. It doesn't touch people. So I, I like to touch people and uh, I'd be happy to answer all the questions that people have and before and after my presentation. Awesome. Well, this is exciting, John. I'm so excited to have you and I'm honored. Thank you so much for joining us at Tax Growth Con. Um, any last words you want to send in with today? Uh, just remember, I'm here to help and uh, I love changing people's lives. Awesome. So guys, if you haven't already got your tickets, taxgrowthcon.com, get your tickets now before they sell out May 17th through the 19th in Dallas, Texas, taxgrowthcon.com. You can get all the information you need there, including the speaker lineup. When, one of which was is John Hewitt, one of the most influential men in, in the tax industry, if not the most influ influential men in the tax industry today, as well as franchising. So if you want to learn from great people, just like John and others, please get your tickets now. We look forward to having you. And thank you so much, John, for joining me today. Thank you, David. Have a wonderful day. See you soon.